Welcome back to our soda machine project. Uh, in the last episode, we finished by making an array list of ingredients. So let's make a method to add the ingredients um, typically found in a can. Um, so we're going to go down here, and in our methods, we're going to say public void mix or at uh, mix ingredients. And then basically in this method, when we call it, we're just adding the ingredients to that particular um, can. So you could have different methods for different types of soda if, if they differed. And all you would do is call the array, so I ingredients dot add, and then the major components are carbonated water. And then the next one, add and of course they have a lot of sugar in them or high fructose corn syrup and then we'll add caramel coloring and phosphoric acid and caffeine, of course. And there are a number of more um, minor elements in the soda, which you could add yourself. So we'll just put a comment up here, adds ingredients for a soda. in an array list. And then we might have to have a method that allows you to walk through the um, ingredients in the soda. Somebody might want to check to see what's in it. So this is going to allow the user to check what's in a soda. So we'll say public String check ingredients. And then we'll make a temporary um, variable to store the ingredients. So I'll just say string str is equal to, and then we'll put a header on. So we'll say ingredients colon. And then we'll use a for loop. And we're going to use a, you could use a while loop, a for loop. I'm going to use a for each loop. So we're going to say for string i, which is short for ingredients in the array ingredients. And then what I want to do is I want to add each ingredient to my loop. So I'll say str plus equals i plus and then a comma and a space. So it'll list the ingredients. Now this is going to list the ingredients in a row after the colon. You could also put a, a escape sequence like slash n there instead of the comma if you wanted them listed on a line. And we'll, we'll play with this in a minute and when we make our runner. And then we just need to return str. So let's go ahead and compile and make sure we don't have any errors. So this is saying we need to import array lists. So import java.util array list and that should fix that error and then this is spelled wrong and then it looks like it's saying we don't have a variable called container so let's copy that our variable is a char 
Uh, it, the reason is, is that because this instead of a string needs to be a char. And then and I believe recyclable spelled wrong. Let's see. Recycle C Y C A B L E should be recyclable. Is that correct? Let's go check. I have to Google it. Uh, I'm going to Google it. I'll be back in a second. So recycle is R E C Y C L A B L E. So that should fix that error. Yes. So now it looks like all of our methods are good. And then we just need a two string method. So let's say public string two string. And we want to return all the variables. So we're going to just say return brand. And then we might do a slash n plus quote slash n for an escape sequence. Plus, or actually, let's do tabs. So we'll do brand, then ounces, and another tab, and then um, whether it's recyclable or not, just do a few of them. You can always add more to that. I need a semicolon. All right, so let's go ahead and make a runner now. Um, so in the next video, we'll go ahead and make a runner and test some of these methods.